Alright. Hi, Chase Carter. I want to talk about NBA 2K15 for a second. Um, in my career, I noticed that um, your contract, when you get paid in DC, um, it doesn't count towards the salary cap. So, um, it's your team is paying you um, over here on the side, salary cap, but not the other players. The other players are getting paid normal, like US dollars, what they would in real life. So I'm thinking, why is my guy not counting against the salary cap? You got in this in um, NBA salary cap, you have 65 to 68 million dollars to spend on an NBA team. You can go over that, under that, what have what have you. My chair is being annoying and squeaky. Um, but I don't get why it doesn't count against it. My team's having an unfair advantage. I, it's like a free player. It's like. Okay, you have 65 million US dollars, but you can have one exception in DC. So I could have better players on my team, which is user friendly, which is what you want the game to be, but it shouldn't. I want to see what I get, what they're paying LeBron James, and then I want to see what I'm getting paid. Because um, the whole point of this is like a make believe um, world to where I want to know if I was physically gifted enough to be in the NBA and. Um, and I had the skills on par with those players. Um, I just exaggerated my own personal skills a little bit. Height, speed, um, jumping ability, just a little bit. Um, my shooting ability, maybe a lot. Um, <laughs> um, but I want to know if I could play up to like my top potential in the league, where would I stand? Where would I stay? I, in my top potential in real life, I probably wouldn't even make the league, but regardless, I want to pretend this is make-believe, and it's not really a serious thing, but I want to get paid in U.S. dollars, and like in the game games before they had VC, that you couldn't do anything with the dollars. So, but then they added VC, and then, oh, you get paid in VC instead of dollars. Well, why not pay you in dollars and then have, like, um, a, have how they do at banks, you know, a currency exchange where for every, because, um, like, the high, like, you get paid, a, like, $100,000 a game or $136,000 a game, whatever it breaks down to, your yearly salary broken up into 82 um, games. So if you get paid $20 million, divide that by 82 games, and then for each game you get paid that much um, actual money. So if you say, if you build up $500,000, you turn it into VC, you get so much VC. And it, you can basically have it broken down to basically you're getting four or 500 VC a game. Um, so say if you're getting paid, like for every 100,000, you get 400 VC. Um, for every 100,000, yeah, have it broken down something along those lines to where you're not getting, you know, an exorbitant, um, amount of VC but you're still getting something along those lines because I want something other than my overall ranking to be compared to it's like dude how much you how much are you making right now I want to be I want to see if I can become say the highest paid player in the NBA or if I'm unselfish um, I could get a um, I could give a hometown discount like Dirk Nowinski I'm gonna get, pay me eight million dollars go out and and I'll, I'll sign a one-year deal keep signing a bunch of one-year deals for eight million dollars and then you go out and sign um, players um, that are good for whatever reason, but um, for whatever reason that can help us. But say if I don't like that situation, I can get out of that situation because it's only a year contract. Or if I want to stay with you know the Bulls for not my favorite team um, for say five years for, but yeah, I mean, I, where would the limit be? You know what I mean? So sign for a hundred thousand dollars or a million. Like, what is the limit? Oh, I'm not too sure, because... Oh, because they, p people could sign for, like, the minimum. The veteran's minimum, which is, like, a, I think a little over a million. And basically do the same thing anyway. Um, but I think it'd be fun... But then you wouldn't earn VC. You wouldn't earn enough VC. People want as much VC as possible. So when you do that, I think it would be good... Um, to because you want to see you want to do you want to win so are you going to sacrifice some VC and then I think that would put a lot of actual players in some real life not real life of course but like some serious I don't know conflict like you make fun of Carmelo Anthony for taking all that money but then in the game it's like no way I'm not going to take a 
a cut in my money that I'm going to make because that's going to affect how much VC I get a game. So it's like, oh, you're selfish. Oh, you're selfish. You can kind of have like a fun thing with your friends along with that. And another thing before this video ends, co-op my career. I make a character. My friend makes a character. We get put in the same draft. No more... Um, and then, oh man, if we if they could get college rights or something, which it would be awesome. You start out in like how um, the football game is. You start in high school, you have like a high school career, you have a college career, and you have an NBA career. That would be, I, my head would explode, literally. But my friend gets drafted, depending on his performance, he gets drafted higher, lower, what have you. What, what have you. And then if we wanted to, we could be rivals or we could pair up later in you know in our in our careers or what you know there's endless possibilities you know what i mean so um well not endless there's like two or three you can team up or be rivals um or just ignore each other or you know like to meet your friend in the finals or in the conference finals and to play against him and like either you have it to be the same position or what have you i think that would be the Mwah, the, the 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 best the cream of the crop type of experience in the game you know i don't know if you could have like 30 people you know one player per team or whatever but at least put one one person in to see how it works um i think that would be really freaking cool uh and then say like you sign with adidas he signs with nike you have a rivalry or um gatorade Powerade, you have a little, you know, conflict, what have you. Um, but I, I, I just think it would be really fun to mess with the whole co-op aspect of my career. And I know my career is a single player thing and I don't know, just have it like uh, broken down into weeks and then you can play your, your schedule or what have you, like th they can figure it out. But I think that would be really freaking cool. But anyways, my name is Chase. Um, and those are my thoughts on NBA 2K15. See, it's...